behind. Look, I see mom. Quick, run! Let's get out of here. What's up, Pigtopia? We are back with our Tuesday video for you. This week, we're gonna go over our cage cleanout routine. Just a heads up, you will see Betty in this video all perky and happy, and so we're gonna just chalk that up to a good time. You may recall from some of our early videos that we have a specific padding situation going on in our cage to help the guinea pigs keep from really ruining the base of their cage as well as give them some extra padding. There is newspaper down underneath a layer of thicker cardboard, then we put down the pine shavings and then the pigs like to throw their hay everywhere to make a bunch of padding. So the first thing that I have to do is make sure that I get all of the soiled wood chips and hay and the newspaper out and then the cardboard is going to come out after that. One aside that I want to note is that I'm very cognizant of what I wear when I go to clean out my guinea pigs. This is mostly because of how high in the air they are. I inevitably end up with a slew of soiled shavings all over me. So I try to make sure that I am wearing things that don't stick with the wood chips very easily. It's just something that isn't going to get completely ruined by the clean out process. As you can see, I have stopped taking the guinea pigs out of the cage when I clean it out. It's big enough that they can enjoy themselves still in the cage, and I find that they really do have a lot of fun exploring as I take up the different layers of the bedding and just get to spend some extra time with them. They're usually really good about staying out of the way when I'm doing the bulk of the work, although they do get curious, especially as I'm pouring in new wood chips. They want to know what's going on, and I love it. It's a very unique way that I I can interact and bond with them. One thing I do want to note is that the only reason I can do this is because Vanna is no longer part of the herd. Vanna just didn't quite grasp the concept of staying fully away from the wood chips as they were pouring in and inevitably would end up with fresh wood chips in her eyes, which would scratch them and cause poke, and it was just not a good situation. So you have to really pay attention to the makeup of your herd and the I hate to say it, but cumulative IQ of your herd, just to make sure that the choices that you're making as to where the guinea pigs are when you're cleaning it out does not hurt them. As you can see, I try to keep a steady layer of papers and steady layer of cardboard to make sure just everything is covered and padded. And their favorite spots, I will hit that double hard just because I know that that needs a better pee barrier. I guess we can be a little crude with that. And here we go. You can see that the guinea pigs get extremely curious about this wood chip distribution process. And I have to be careful and watch them and be cognizant of where they are so that I am not getting wood chips in their eyeballs. That's really about all there is to it. After I get one half of the cage done, the pigs will tend to go hang out over there, especially since I will put their food and water on that half to encourage them to stay out of my way. And I'll turn around and do the other half of the cage after they're all settled in. All in all, the process takes me usually about an hour, sometimes longer if I have a good show playing in the background or if the pigs are feeling especially curious about my hands. I mean, how do you turn that down? If they wanna hang out with you, you gotta hang out with them, right? In general, it's a pretty easy routine. I am at a loss for what else I could say on the topic. This week, our comment of the week comes to us from Sister Gabrielle Fassel, who commented on our most recent guinea pig cam. I love hearing from you all while that is going on. It's a fun way for us to hang out and get to know each other. Incidentally, Sister Gabrielle also made use of our email address and we got to send her a fun surprise because of it. So if you ever wanna hang out with us on email, feel free to shoot us a line. We will throw the email address in both the description and on the screen. Well, that's really about it for us as far as the routine is concerned. However, the rest of this video is the guinea pigs just being their cute little piggy selves. And of course, there's a bunch of Betty feeling happy and healthy and enjoying a clean cage. So stick around and check it out. We'll see you in a couple minutes.
lot of fun sharing our routine with you. We hope you enjoyed it. What do you do to clean out your guinea pigs? Drop us a comment and let us know. We'll see you next time. Be cute. Bye.